leaving today, ain't we? We are, shame that. Yeah, I know, I was actually on a campsite and enjoying it. But there's only been us and the neighbours, ain't they, who turned yeah. up the next day? You don't see them. No, they go out. They parked at the other side of us, so we don't see them, do we? No, or hear them. No. Good, any? And what did Carl do last night after he fell over? What you done? Broke my GoPro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still working, but... It still works. It's got a scratch on the lens, but the lens is replaceable, but it's a little bit... I suppose we should cure it and it's broken the bracket Yeah, it's on the wobbling really bad. Yeah. Useless, ain't ya? Yeah, so I need to see what I can do. I don't know what I can do about that. Yeah. And he said I should have filmed him falling when he was on the floor, didn't you? Yeah, man, footage. I oh, know, but I never. In case he'd broke his leg or something. Who cares? Yeah, well, I ain't evil. <laughs> Left the campsite, ain't we, Uggs? We have. Yes, we are just outside Glencoe, ain't we? Yes. On a park up that we showed ya yeah, when we came to Scotland, not the last time, the time before that. But we never have an ITD, did we? No. And we like it, don't we? Oh, God, the action, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, birdies galore, I'll show you. So, right outside the cab window are these bird feeders. And we were going to go out for a walk after we've had something to eat. But we've been taking photos and filming for about the last two hours because there's been an abundance of bird life. Really, really cool. And there's a little coal tip there now. Don't know if you can see it. But you can probably hear all the birds around singing. And that's where we're parked up. Surrounded by forests and mountains. Loving it. Really, really nice. We tore ourselves away from the birdies and we're off for a walk. There's us parked down there. We ain't got a clue where we're going, but we'll find out. It is a proper track, so she'll be all right. We shall see where we end up. Look at them for views. So we are technically on the other side of the woods on the I-82 where we stayed before at Antor. We're on the other side of there. Gorgeous, so. Do you reckon it's a logger's track, Uggs? Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh well, see where it ends up. Hopefully you can see that. Snow on top of the mountains. And the clouds capping the top as well. Looks like spring is finally springing.
into the track. Out of breath. Could either go down there or up there. So we reckon it is a cycle track, don't we? Yeah, there's cycle marks everywhere. Yeah, there is. Which I bet they enjoy it. Oh yeah, I'm sure they do. There are no signs though, but no. it's what we're presuming. Oh well. Going back now, aren't we, Augs? Yep. We are. Yeah, it ain't too bad. Got Nucky out for half an hour. Yeah. Well, probably longer than that when I'm filming. Oh, that's a gorgeous view. Yeah. Lovely scenery that you probably can't see on here. Yeah, the fog's coming in already. Yeah, it's getting really misty now. Yep. On the mountains. There's Nucky trotting off in front. Go back and have a hotty chocky, I think. And me. I meant us, yeah. not just me. Yeah, me, me. Poor Nucky. Hello, Bubby Bear. He's had unwanted visitors again, any, Mr. B? Oh, yes. He's had the tick fairy come, any? Three of them. Evil things. Yeah. Got them off there, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. They put up a fight. They did. Yeah. Bloody horrible. I don't like killing things, but I take exception to flipping. Six. Yeah, because they're horrid. The vile. Ugh, yeah. God, they give me the creeps. Yeah, crawling on his face. Because he does have a tick treatment, but it don't stop them actually getting on him, do they? No. But they just crawl around and end up on his face, which is good because you can get them off. But... Bad because they're on the thing we've got to catch them. Yeah. And he has Brevecto. So it does work because he ain't had a tick latch on since he's had it and that's been about three years, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So I'll put the name up, but definitely worth giving it your dog if you're going to come to Scotland. But we ain't had any, have we, till we come here? No. Yeah? He hasn't even really been in, in, in any undergrowth or anything, has he? No, and I can see some at black on the side for now. Yeah, that ain't one. In that corner, yeah. by the cushion. No, back, 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 I can see it. That's a number that... one, number four. Oh, God. Don't know if you can see that. Oh, no, it's how the focusing failed. But that is one. That's like the fourth one. Yep. <sighs> Doing my head in, man. Go on, then. You're going to have to squish it. I'm going to, don't worry. We're just walking into Glencoe. Going to go to the cafe and have a hotty chockey. Might be something to eat. Spend some money in the town while we're here. Standing on the bridge now. I don't know why that bit of the water is really, really green. And then the rest of it is perfectly fine and normal. Strange one. Got our hot chockies, ain't we? We had our hot chocolates. Yeah, we've drank them now. They were yummy. Yeah, it's sweet for me, actually. No, no sweet. Too nice. sweet. Sweet. Ugh. We'll be watching the birdies on the feeders, ain't we? And we actually saw some siskin, which we've never seen before, a male and a female. So I'll put that footage on now, and you can see what they look like. We're taking a stroll to Invoco. Bird is singing again. It's along the side of the river, or well, sort of. More birdies, that was a robin. Lovely. 
one kilometre to Invercar. Don't know what's there apart from a campsite, but we will find out. Big green canopy. And it's actually a laurel tree. Well, a laurel bush, technically. What's just been left to grow. So the big massive tree. Never knew the grew so big. Come on this way, Nookie Bear. We've just spotted a deer. A female deer. So I've had to walk in the opposite direction. A bit up in the air, that's better. With Nookie Monst. Because if he sees Carl going down there, he'll start woofing. And then they'll run off. And that will be that. Hopefully he's got some footage. And there's Mr B down there with a the camera out. Hopefully he'll get some footage. Fingers crossed. Spotted a white bum. Oh, you beauty. Oh, I don't think you can see it on here. No, going up the hill. Can you see its white bum in the middle? Just disappearing. Just gone behind the tree. Oh, that was only young, I think. Don't know much about deer, but it had very short antlers. Straight up, that didn't have big branches. Only small ones. It's still there behind the tree. <coughs> the knock. We've turned round to come back and we've just had a deer run from where the house is on the right and <coughs> boing across the road into the woods. Which is why the knock's been a prat. What a beautiful place for a monument. We've just been to the shop in the village in Glencoe and there's a sign by the bridge for the massacre monument so we've just took the side road to have a look and it says on the morning of the 13th of February 1692 38 McDonald's of Glencoe were massacred in this area on the orders of King William III and carried out by the government forces led by Robert Campbell of Glen Lyon. And it says on the stone itself at the bottom, this cross is reverently erected in memory of McIan, chief of the Macdonalds of Glencoe, who fell with his people in the massacre of Glencoe on the 13th of February, 1692. It's the following day. We're still in Glencoe, ain't we? We are. So, not last night, not before, Carl put the wildlife camera out, didn't you? I did. Well, where the bird feeders are. And all you got was like a bushy tail, didn't you? And then, yesterday, a couple came, didn't they? Yep. X-Ranger. This is his old patch. They feed the birds here. And he said that there's a nail in the wood that you can hang the camera. Yeah. And he said if Carl puts it there, he will catch some footage of a mammal that lives in the woods in Scotland that not many people see. So you put the camera out last night, don't you? Exactly where he told me. Yeah. And we've got loads of footage, don't loads we? Loads and loads and loads. Yeah. They've turned up again just, didn't they, to yes. do the birdies. And Carl's been a show in the footage, ain't you? On the laptop. And he thought it was really good. Yeah. Nice man, weren't he? Very nice. Having a good natter to yeah. Carl. So, the footage will be on now. And I will put up what it is, in case you don't know. <laughs>
it's a lovely sunny day and that's the River Co you can hear in the background heading towards Loch Leven we're just walking to the well the Invoco walk again to walk Nucky before we go into the town and go to the little shop and get some shopping hopefully we'll see the deer again but probably won't be so lucky this time and there is a walk to a lock round here well it's a locker and we're going to do that later when it's quieter when everybody's gone because it's a weekend so it's busier lovely views of Loch Leven there where the Invoco campsite sits so there's the campsite there Invoco lovely location but the roadworks are going on for 73 weeks and they only started in December I mean the location's stunning but you're going to have road work noise for a year and a half don't know if you can see there on here but there's deer it's one two three four five six seven I think mainly stags Carl's going to see if he can get some photos or some video. He's a snoozy boy after that big long walk, ain't you, puppy bear? Carl's gone off to do his own thing. So I'm going to film the birdies again. a bird we didn't expect to see not in a forest anyway did we no a male mallard and there's the female eating although really we are by the river aren't we yeah we've been watching the birdies again And we're doing the lock and walk now. It's about 20 to 6, sunset in an hour. 
think the clocks do the thing tonight. The woods are lovely at this time of night. And this is the start of the trail to Glencoe Locken. You have to walk up to the other car park. Look at that. And it's lovely. That's Glencoe Locken. So the woodland surrounding the lock was created by Lord Strathcona in the 19th century because he was married to a Canadian and she missed her homeland. So he tried to plant it up to remind her of Canada. And we're going to leave this one here. And it's a boy from me. And it's a boy from him. Boy. <laughs> Thank God. Deformo Carl Finger. <laughs> boy.